tell yourself? I may have been standing here for a bad time. Are you kidding? I hope I wasn't thinking. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. All right, well, hold the camera. I'll do it again. No. Hold the video camera. Oh, my gosh. You're crazy. <laughs> Uh, good morning or something like that it is 11 o'clock in Prudhoe Bay so the Sun is a little bit more overhead than it was last night when we pulled in um, we went to bed probably about 1 30 after driving our 15 plus hours and uh, totally exhausted wiped out I don't even think I rolled over in bed I am in the middle of the cold and the dreary right now It says 46 on the outside. Lindsay's tucked away inside and it's 57 in there, nice and warm. Um, but it's 46 out here, 84% humidity. And uh, it's windy, 20 mile an hour winds. So those are the fancy people that get to fly into Prudhoe Bay. We drove the 15 hours on the Dalton Highway. But it is nothing but industrial setup oil I have no idea where the oil fields are we're taking a tour today to go out to the Arctic Ocean uh, this is really the highlight and the start of our big journey to get us all the way down to Argentina um, we wanted to start in Prudhoe Bay as far north as we could go and we want to drive as far south as we can go uh, so here we are in Prudhoe Bay <laughs> Woke up and our solar panels were on the fritz. Our controller was flashing and uh, and despite the sun being up since three o'clock, so almost eight hours now. Uh, it was saying that it was over voltage on the charger and the controller, um, or sorry, on the controller, it was showing overcharged. So we have Renogy solar panels and uh, charger. It's an awesome system. We love the company. We've had some uh, little things before where we had to call literally in the middle of the desert in Arizona. We had one bar of service and we were able to get in touch with their tech support. They did an awesome job of getting us back in action out there. This is what we hope to be something similar, where it's just a matter of uh, a couple little quick fixes and it'll work. I don't know if their system is just not used to having sun 24 hours a day, because for the last 24 hours we've had sun constantly, um, even in clouds, the sun has been out, so the, the system's been working. I have no idea if that has anything to do with it or whether it's just uh, you know something little. Um, we did a lot of driving around, a lot of bouncing. So anytime you're driving and bouncing, things move and break. And if this is the issue and we're able to fix it, then that's the only broken thing. Then we're pretty stoked about it. Renogy, by the way, I emailed first thing in the morning and I got a response back from their technical support within, I don't know, three or four minutes. So, so far, pretty awesome technical support. We'll see what happens moving forward. Hopefully they will, uh, they will have the solution, it will work. And uh, right now it's pretty much just disconnect everything and reconnect it later in a couple minutes. We're at Dead Horse Camp. It's actually right across the street from where we boondocked last night on the river. They have the Arctic Ocean Shuttle. We're about 
to be tourists. I don't like to consider ourselves tourists, but we are doing our first tour, I think, on all this, this entire trip. Stupid? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Hard to stop back there! <laughs> what, did somebody slip? Oh no, somebody walked in the water! Yeah. Yeah. Man, those, uh. Be careful, there's all sorts of crap out there, so. Okay. We came. This used to be a dock here. We've come a long way, and I'm only gonna be here once in life. So. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Are you going all the way in? I like to think so. I don't okay. do I have to go pretty far. No, I think the best place, well, right out here is probably better. You see that post right there? Yeah. Yeah, be real careful. It's just kind of laid out, you know, if yeah. you're going all the way. It's kind of laid out. That's what everybody else does. My body might overrule my head on this <laughs> once I get out there. Yeah, you gotta kind of do it quick. You gotta, when you're ready, you do it, yeah. get in there, and done, you know? I'm thinking about it. You ready, man? It's go time.
You're probably the only person to ever do that twice. Yep. <laughs> I'm probably the only person to do that twice. <laughs> Why'd I have to do it twice, Lindsay? <laughs> but I think I stood in front, in front of the, of the camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in summary, the Arctic Ocean is not very pretty. At least here. But it lacks in beauty. It definitely makes up in coolness. It's very cool. I think I still can. I've been out for 20 minutes. It's cool. This is pretty awesome. Top of the world. So we made it to Prudhoe Bay. Yep. That was our first goal. Only one thing left to do, right? I think I'm dead. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, that's ice. And that's the same water I just swam in. And that's ice. And that's the same water that I swam in. And that means it's cold in the water that I swam in. I thought I was an idiot for doing it. I wonder what they thought because I did it twice. Double idiot? Is there such a thing as double idiot? Because Lindsay was standing in front of the camera. What wife does that to a husband? So it came to Prudhoe Bay, and we accomplished what we came to accomplish. I went swimming in the drink, the Arctic Ocean, that was pretty cool. Lindsay went walking in it, and uh, we're here. We, uh, there's not a whole lot to do. We didn't plan to do a whole lot, and the weather's gonna be awful starting tomorrow and uh, Sunday in particular. So we're gonna get out of here. Um, Lindsay's inside right now, it's six o'clock. She's inside getting dinner ready. We're gonna eat some nice pasta, nice warm food. And uh, while she's doing that, I'm doing all the outside prep stuff. Safety is our number one and not having to break things and have to buy them all over again. That's our number two. So God willing, everything goes smooth. We'll spend three or four hours driving. Um, we'd like to make it to the pass. Get on the other side of the mountains where it'll be a little bit warmer. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's cold. It's not terribly cold. It's probably 45 degrees. It'll get down a little bit lower tonight into the upper 30s and windy but we want to get some road beneath the tires and get on out of here. So we've got our Honda generator running, which is great. We've got my six gallon quarter cable pancake air pressure. Kicks out 150 PSI, I need to be putting 80 in each of our tires. We've got these awesome Toyo all-terrain tires. They've done us really well so far. This is the last big purchase we made before we left. So I'll be airing them up. And then our suspension system. We've got our airbags in here. And I'm gonna fill those up adequately so that the camper ride's level. And uh, just to give you a little Insight into the, the mud flaps are collecting mud. And so is the camper. This is where we camped last night. Pretty awesome view of the river. It's got a native name that means swift flowing river or swift river. Uh, enough talk. Time to get started so we can get on the road in the next 45 minutes. Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. We came, we saw, we conquered, we, conquered. <laughs> we swam in the Arctic Ocean. I just put my feet in, he swam. We did, yeah. <laughs> but we're here. And now we have the joy of leaving 
This is not one of those places where we're sad to leave, is it? No, it's not. But it was awesome being here. It was awesome being here. Getting yeah. here was was a remarkable part of this journey, launching us into the next chapter of of our life and our trip. So we have the joy of the Dalton Highway for the next 415 miles, which means uh, it's gonna be bumpy. <laughs> it's gonna be bumpy, um, but everything's good. Aired up the tires, got our suspension airbags all set. Everything's secured inside. We got a, a belly full of warm, delicious pasta and coffee for the next couple hours. And uh, we don't have a sunset again. So it's almost eight o'clock. Till we don't feel like driving we anymore. We drive till we don't feel like driving anymore. Cut the drive down as much as we can on tomorrow. And like we try to push out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't have a desire to stay another day yeah. on the Dalton Highway. Um, I'd like to get back past Fairbanks or Fairbanks, believe it or not, I am actually looking forward to Walmart parking lot. It's a nice flat level surface. We have cell phone service so we can uh, get a little work done and uh, yeah. But anyway, we are on our way out of Prudhoe Bay. Well, dead horse. We came, we saw, we swam with polar bears. Just yeah. <laughs> we didn't swim with polar bears. Well, our entire 415 mile drive in, we saw signs for caribou, but never saw any. And on our way out, about 12 miles outside of town, we stumbled into a couple hundred. Of course, Lindsay's in heaven with her nice, Beautiful new long lens. Just blew a flat. Kind of our worst nightmare. It's not a nightmare, it's something. I know, I just. It's no fun, especially in mosquito country. Kind of makes me wish we had the farm jack now, but. 